I so appreciate the way you two are listening to me and supporting me. It means a lot to me. I should have told you about this a long time ago. There's no need for me to face this alone. You know, you can definitely count on us throughout this, Kendra. Don't even hesitate to ask. I know. Absolutely, Kendra. We all need to make ourselves more aware of the resources out there around women's health. That's true. Any information you have would be fantastic. I know my mom has such a struggle just talking with her doctors, even with a good interpreter. I think sometimes she feels kind of helpless and confused. And I have to say, sometimes I feel the same. Throughout the chapters of this DVD, we've talked about the importance of obtaining complete and correct information about breast health and breast cancer. This is an important step in taking charge of our own health. Whether we are talking about screening, diagnosing, or treating breast cancer, this means communicating with doctors and other health professionals in order to get information, get questions answered, and make decisions. It is very important to get an interpreter. You know, most healthcare providers are hearing people. It isn't always easy communicating with them. You need to be assertive to make sure that you are getting the correct information about your breast health services. There are several things you can do to make this process easier and to ensure that your needs are met. First, recognize that you're already taking the first step by watching this DVD and becoming familiar with breast health, breast cancer screening, and diagnostic and treatment procedures. So then you can prepare yourself to understand what doctors and other health professionals will be discussing with you. Second, when it's time to make your appointments, explain your needs. Whether you are making an appointment by telephone or TTY, video relay, or going directly to the doctor's office or clinic, Explain that you are deaf or hard of hearing and that you will need interpreting services for the appointment. Third, be aware that you have rights. You have the right to request a qualified professional interpreter if you want one for your appointment. It is your doctor's responsibility to provide interpreting services for your appointment. It is not your responsibility, it is the doctor's. Along with this responsibility is the doctor's obligation to pay for these services. If a doctor refuses to provide you with an interpreter, you can remind him or her about their legal responsibilities as defined by the Americans with Disabilities Act, also known as the ADA. If your doctor still refuses, even after you've explained his or her legal responsibilities, you can contact your local deaf and hard of hearing agency for assistance in dealing with the doctor's resistance.
they may be able to assist you. Don't settle for less than excellent communication. Don't settle for trying to understand a well-meaning but less than fluent staff member who may happen to know a few signs and fingerspelling. Don't rely on friends or family members to interpret for you because they are not professional interpreters and you may struggle to understand the very complicated medical information and be forced to rely on lip reading or note taking which may not be adequate. It is extremely important that you receive excellent communication via a qualified professional interpreter. If your doctor is willing to provide the service but just doesn't know how to go about getting it, you can approach your local deaf agency and ask them for printed materials regarding interpreting services and give these to your doctor. Remember, most doctors have little experience communicating with deaf and hard of hearing people. They may not know what to do. You can take it upon yourself to educate them in this regard and tell them about your communication needs and rights, ensuring that you have complete understanding. Once you have a qualified professional interpreter and you're ready for the appointment with the doctor to begin, you may be overwhelmed with the amount of information that is provided to you. Do not pretend to understand something that you don't. Feel free to interrupt, to ask questions, and ask for clarification. If something piques your interest, or you want to know more about a particular subject, go ahead and ask. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and ask whatever questions you want. Ask for repetition. Ask for a more detailed description of something. And keep on asking questions until you feel completely satisfied that you understand. These steps can go a long way in making you feel comfortable about seeing a doctor and to ensure that you are fully aware of what will occur with regard to your breast cancer screening and your breast health. And know that you are not alone.